cheerfully and regularly as God has prospered us to the support of the ministry, the expenses of the church, to the relief of the poor, and the spreading of the gospel throughout all nations. We also strive to maintain family and private devotion to the Lord, to train our children according to the word of God, to seek the salvation of those around us, to walk carefully in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our conduct, to seek the Lord's help in avoiding activities, habits, and lifestyles that dishonor our Lord Jesus Christ, cause the stumbling of fellow believers, or hinder the gospel witness, to be zealous in our efforts to advance the cause of Christ, our Savior, and to place Him first. We further purpose to encourage one another in the blessed hope of our Lord's return, to watch over one another in brotherly love, and to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in feelings and courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation. This is an annual covenant renewal, seeking God's hand to be upon all who make this covenant together for God's glory and the furthering of his kingdom through the work that the Fairview Mennonite Church strives towards. Now I just would ask for those who are helping with communion as well as the covenant signing to come forward and I'd like to say a prayer over the elements. God, we thank you for the sacrifice that is your son, Jesus Christ, that, that you spoke to us about through Hebrew, the, the change from this animal sacrifice now to this perfect sacrifice, your son, that through his body, through his blood, we can draw near to you. And God, we, we perform this communion as an act of remembrance of what you've done, of your willingness to, to pour your body and blood out for us on that cross. We thank you for sending your son to, to save us, to allow us to draw near to you, a perfect and holy God. We we thank you for the love that you have shown to us that way and we pray that, that this communion that we have together would remind us and would, would steady our hearts that we would draw near to you that way. That we would push aside the things in this world that hinder us and that we would focus solely on you, on, on what you have done for us laying your life down. And we pray all of these things in Jesus' name, amen. Come as you're ready.
Thank you, Anna. If you'll all stand with us, we're going to do the two doxology to close today. This week, spur one another on towards love and, and good deeds. As, as a church, encourage one another, build each other up, be in, in covenant and in relationship together. Go in peace. <laughs>